Welcome to Gran Turismo 7 and welcome and you may notice that one hunting is one car I gotta review who somehow I mean one car one legendary car you may know how to say race on 24 hours of the month you may notice the successor of the modern day supercar and one thing is the best sounding American V8 of all time well it was the one of the top races of all time the one of the top racing car of all time and also winning the four winning in Le Mans four times in a row yeah 66 67 68 and 69 you know what the car me me thinking right I'm gonna show you what it is in the one the final lap of the 24 hours of Le Mans three of these cars one two three and also one thing is Bruce McLaren also drive one of this car and also Ken Miles as well and the one car I got to talk about is you may know the history of the E4 and the car I got to I want to say the car I, I meant is this one the legendary winner of the one of the legendary racing car on Le Mans this is the Ford GT40 Mark 1. This car is the answer uh, for the uh, racing car. Uh, well, actually, this is a one, the road car, actually. And one thing is, this is the answer uh, to beat Ferrari at 24 hours of Le Mans in 1966. And this is a one of the icon back in the 1966. This is the one of the uh, developed also developed by Carol Shelby as well. I, if I correct me if I'm wrong. Eh? If if you, if I'm wrong, please he's made me, made the correction for me on the comment section below. And one thing about this car, this is the answer to beat Ferrari at 24 Hour Le Mans, and also oh, develop uh, with Ford and also British engineer here as well. Yeah, if you don't know, oh, you may you may check out. On on the internet source, I I also use it on the in, in, internet as well for the correct source as well. And one thing about this car, it's pretty much amazing and the most beautiful, the most beautiful as well. And the height of this car is 40 inches tall. Compare with this car with the Ford GT, the Mark One Ford GT. Ford GT he is three inches taller than the this car. If you want, uh, if you watch the top, the top gear compare Jeremy Clarkson review the Ford GT, you know, oh, uh, you know, right? Uh, you know who that car was. This particular car is designed by Ron Bradshaw. Yeah, Ron Bradshaw, uh, the designer of the he Ford or GT40. He as well. This the one of the car, car which is a has looking. This particular car is a 4.7 liter V8 engine. It's 354 horsepower and 456 newton meters of torque. Weighs 1,080 kilograms. And one thing about this car, in, uh, in particular, the stylish. I like the stylish as well. Hell, when the most pe people think of the GT40, the Ford GT40, they think of Carroll Shelby and they wouldn't be wrong. Oh yeah, I, I just noticed it was it was yeah, Carroll Shelby. He wasn't actually involved. He wasn't actually, but it was her mentioning that Carroll Shelby wasn't actually he involved in for the first Ford GT40, which is appears in 1964. The Mark One, and which is appeared in 1964. The Mark One was. It was a car with a fantastic concept. That's why the modern GT, a Ford GT was was inspired by this one. I, I believe. I think the way he retained the look of the classic GT car makes it especially beauty. The only thing in the Mark One was miss. It was reliability required for uh, endurance racing. Uh, and also, you may may notice this is a right. The right hand drive configuration yeah this is a this one is made in U united kingdom actually it's made in england and that's why ford decided hang hand a large part of its racing program over the shelby if you don't know shell shelby american and also over the team of the shelby american also race on 24 hours a month if and it's and the rest is history hey but the gt40 mark one is where it all began and and it, it and because it, because of that it's because it's a prize that collector's item and one thing about this car uh, oh yeah I just uh, I want to mention something this 
His car, is, the Mark One, is made in UK. Well, yeah, if you don't know, it's right hand side. Hey, they, they sent the British engineer as well in UK to this build this car as well. And cost this thing uh, is the most mind blowing 6.7 million. And one thing is, I need to have it because I need he have the one of the greatest car of all time. And I, I ran out of her credit because I bought her one of these things. <laughs> but it was worth it. Worth it for me to drive. And I, I, I gotta say I gotta drive Hi, this thing. It was my one of my collection as well. Where it is. So where you think I'm gonna pick the track? Well, of course it was Le Mans. Because this car built to, the, to beat Ferrari at the Le Mans. Yeah, this is... I did, and also I got to do the no chicane version. Yeah, the no chicane version one, one thing as well. So let's get started anyway.
So, so you're probably thinking about this car, yeah, not just the outside, but the inside as well. The inside is pretty much amazing as well. Uh, as well, yeah, the, the inside is, is pretty much cool, cool as well. Even though it has four-speed gearbox, the dashboard itself is almost identical as the modern Ford GT. The modern Ford GT is a paying homage to, for the GT40 as well. Look at the interiors. It was cool as well, and you might thinking how old this car was. It was 58 years old car, and one thing about the GT40, it was cool, and also the one of the uh, the car, which is the one on, in the Le Mans 24 hours from 1966 to 1969. They beat Ferraris back. Yeah, they beat the Ferraris, as, uh, as you know. Alright, you may know the history between Ford versus Ferrari yeah, as well. If you watch the movie or the Ford versus Ferrari movie, you know hold it. And the one thing about the GT E40, look at the inside again. It was mwah, masterpiece. And one thing about this car, it was masterpiece as well. I liked the stylish on there. That's why the modern GT, the the twenty, the two thousand five and the two thousand six Ford GT, is paying homage for the GT forty here as well. Well, that car is four thousand thirty eight. This is the oh, about a hundred one of these things, I believe. Oh, I didn't remember if I if I if you guys know how many need these cars make. Please comment on the comment section below. And this particular GT40, it bought GT40 actually, is worth right now, worth 5 to 10 million dollars. That means about uh, over 5 million pounds. I didn't remember the currency of it. But, yes, but this car in particular one is over the worth over 5 to 10 million dollars. And I was love this. I fell in love with this car actually. The stylish. If I, if you compare with the, the mod, the old GT40 and the Ford GT, it was uh, almost identical. But the height was different. Three inches, di uh, three inches different height actually as well. This one 40 inch tall, and the GT 2005 and 2006 version of the Ford GT was 43 inches tall. Yeah, yeah, that's that was it. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you want to see more Gran Turismo 7 or any other uh, game video, a video game, uh, if you want to see more, be sure to smash a like, subscribe if you are new, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also Hoyo Lab, link in the description box below. See you guys soon. Assalamualaikum and goodbye.